Everybody, I thought I'd show off. Um, these are the very first poles made from the Leech Woman mold. Um, I don't have a another head to show off at the moment because this, uh, what you see here, she's going to be um, a statue, like a little custom statue I'm making of my mascot for my company. But um, let's see if I can zoom in here. You can see, focus. You can't really see it, um, but yeah, I actually this was a Tiffany Taylor doll head that I used to make the mold that I actually re-sculpted the area around the eyes to be more like Leech Woman, and then the rest of her I sculpted entirely by hand. And let's see if we can see her her good leg here. Um, yeah, so she will have ball joints in her knees and uh, in her hips and her ankles. You can see the ankle joint right here. Excuse that crack, that was a molding error, but it's fine for this one. But yeah, so this is the ball joint for her knee, or for her uh, ankle, excuse me. And then what she's wearing here is actually the prototype, whoa, what she's wearing here is the prototype dress, um, and it, it came out really good, and it uh, really looks like she does in the movie, so if you, uh... and she's just primed right now, um, because I discovered that, in fact, I would have to end up painting the whole thing anyway to fill in mold lines and make her look really perfect. So uh, I just primed her down, and yeah. So there will be an update video when I get the first two painted. One's mine, and one's going to a customer by the name of Tez, um, who I've done a lot of other work for. I made a, uh, I made a torch resin body for him. Um... Pinhead clothes. This uh, set of pinhead padding and clothes is actually going to him. He's a he's a good customer. So yeah, um, I think he has his work. He has my work up on. Uh, oh my gosh, Facebook. I don't know why that didn't come to me. Facebook and Instagram. Um, but yeah, so like the Puppet Master fan pages and stuff. So yeah. And then I did his blade hat and his, uh, I did a full blade outfit for him. He's got one of the V across coats right now, though. Um, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, she'll be fully posable and everything. This is the, again, this is the prototype dress. I actually found the very perfect fabric. It matches that very nice almost salmon color that her dress is in the movies and then I was fortunate enough to find ribbon and then an extra wide ribbon to make the ruffles of the dress but they both match exactly to how um, she looks in the movie I'm gonna actually pause this for a second to see if I can grab that fabric real quick alright so here it is I'm leaving it kind of in the bag to protect it but yeah it looks really nice um, I actually have the out or the inside of the fabric turned outward to make sure it stays nice but it's actually a really nice satin so yeah her dress will be beautiful it'll have uh, Leech Woman's dress has two different layers so it comes down to about here and then there's a layer with a ruffle and then sewn under that is another layer that comes down to here so yeah so yeah that's what she looks like she's looking really really good yeah just use the, the glue drip from when I glued this head on. Um, like I said before, the uh, the leech woman head will be uh, ball jointed on. So she'll be, it'll be able to swivel and it'll be really cool. And she'll have uh, black glass eyes in there as well. And that'll be really awesome. That's actually going to be an upgrade. So um, if you want the black glass eyes, and it's probably going to be like 30 or $40 more. Um, and that may seem ridiculous, because you would think, why don't you just put in the black glass eyes? Anyway, well, it's because the, the black glass eyes, the Leech Woman body is really a bit too cheap right now as it is. I mean, it's not, I want to make this clear, I'm not selling a full replica. I am selling a body with a head. Um, I can include hands for you if you want, but you're on your own as far as, like, stuff like hair goes and um so yeah just wanted to make that clear and then I also sell the clothes as well but that's separate so anyway 
So yeah. Very cool uh, updates and as well I wanted to mention okay so this tunnel head I have on here it's um, it's actually not for sale and uh, a friend of mine actually gave it to me and um, and it's a really really nice tunnel head I, I love it um, he's a, he was a really good friend and he gave me this tunnel head but he didn't want me to copy it or anything so Respecting his wishes, I will not be copying this tunneler ad. However, you're not out of luck. There is a friend of mine who is a is a really good sculptor, and um, we're doing some work together. And we will soon be offering a uh, tunneler head sculpted by him. And I've seen it. I don't. I don't have any pictures. To show because I'm actually taking this on my phone camera and I'd that'd be a mess with editing and everything. Um, maybe in future videos I'll be able to show pictures of that. Um, and maybe even of the first castings of that because the gears are turning, we're getting stuff done. Um, but yeah, so my buddy Mark is he's a really talented sculptor and he's going to be sculpting Tunneler Head, or he sculpted the Tunneler Head, I've seen it. Um, but we're going to be providing tunneler heads as well now. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's, we're moving in a, in a good direction with Circus of the Dead Productions. And we'll be offering some other cool stuff sculpted by him. And uh, also, really cool update. A while ago, I acquired a... a uh, excuse me. A while ago, I acquired a set of mannequins, like wood mannequins, and um, I've been working on the best way to put them together, and I finally figured it out, and so I am proud to say that I will be offering uh, six shooter bodies very soon. Um, he will stand almost 26 inches tall, I believe, when he's done. That's with a head on it, obviously. Uh, the body itself is not going to be just 26 inches tall, or 26 inches tall, rather. But, um, yeah. So, it's cool. And then, later on, I might even post videos of, uh, how, going through the process of how, like, the leech woman bodies are made, and all sorts of cool stuff, and, yeah, so, we're moving in a good direction here. I've got a couple orders to get out. Um, another awesome customer of mine just bought a, well, he actually purchased it a while ago, but, uh, it took me a bit. These wood mannequins, sometimes they come with defects, and, um, I'm gonna see if I can show you here on the tunneler that I'm using. It came with a huge chunk out of the shoulder here, and a big crack here, and, you know, this guy had been a good customer of mine, and I didn't, not that I would want to give anybody that. That's why it's good to, if you want me to mount something to a mannequin, just have, just pay me to order the mannequin. That way I can inspect it, and if there's a problem, I can uh, have them send me a new one. Because I did, and it worked out really good, and I got a beautiful mannequin. It's actually, um, the final coats of stain we're going on it right now but it took a while to get that so uh but the uh he had me mount uh some hands and a head on it for him and put the clothes on so it'll be uh it'll be really cool and yeah oh also one more thing something really cool